Hello again. Okay, so I'm back. I'm doing my second Bath and Body Works haul and believe it or not, I think tomorrow I have another order coming or maybe on Friday. Um, the ones that I got today were actually supposed to be delivered to me tomorrow, but somehow, some stroke of luck, I got them today. So, I don't know, maybe, hopefully my order, other order will be here on time tomorrow. If not, not a big deal. I will gladly do like a review or a unboxing kind of a thing for you with that. And for now, let's go ahead and hop into unboxing my next order. Let me get it open so I can show you guys what I got. This is the smaller of the two boxes I got today. I did three orders all together. So the first order that I did with the six candles, that was one order. This one is one order, and the one I should be getting tomorrow was another order. So, let's see. Paper. For my cat, he will be happy. Okay, what did I get? Oh, damn. Okay, I got me two of these guys. And that one. You know how I feel about that one. Okay. Wow, okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, crap. There's a bunch of stuff that's, like, um, packaged like that, so that's going to take me a minute to get into. Okay. Yay! One of the things I'm really, really excited about, I needed a nightlight in my living room area um, just to, to have some light in there. I wanted, I kind of wanted one of the like fall pumpkin ones, but once I started looking at those, they weren't really that cute. Um, this one, I don't really mind. I do like this teal color. I don't really care that it's a kite. The most appeal for this one was the fact that it was like half off. It was on sale for like four or five bucks, so I needed something that lit up, and I can get rid of the cheap, one of the cheap wallflowers I have now and probably use that one in my bedroom. So I'll have like three wallflowers in my tiny apartment. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it's cute. Nightlight. No oh, horrible. Yeah, okay. Moving on. So, let's see, what else did I get? Okay, I got, was this the only one? Pretty sure this is the only two pack wallflower I got. I got the pumpkin caramel latte and I'm hoping that this one smells like the marshmallow pumpkin latte um, body spray that I have because I'm obsessed with that shit. Um, in fact, oh I thought I got, oh I did, okay. I got one of the little baby ones just because I like that smell so much and I don't know if anybody else does this, but when I get wallflowers, I have to like open them and smell them just to make sure that I like it. Because I don't want to like plug something in in my house and have to use it for like three weeks or a month or whatever and have it be like stinky and something I don't like. And I've done that before and I hated it. Um, and I don't like being wasteful so I have to end up using the whole thing or just saving the rest of it for later even though I don't want to use it. Whoa. Okay. It's strong, but oh, it smells good. It, it kind of smells like... Okay, I smell a little pumpkin pecan waffle, but it's like way more intense than that. It's, it's more of a chocolate pumpkin pecan waffle, if that makes any sense. And it's it's stronger, definitely. Do I get the caramel, though? I don't know. I get more of a chocolate scent, so I, I, I don't know if that would be linked in with the latte part of it. I know latte is kind of a coffee, but chocolatey, maybe a little coffee smell. I don't really smell caramel, but I do like that. I do like the adorable packaging too. Um, I love it when the wallflowers come in cute packaging because I mean, this is cute. Like I wouldn't mind 
like after I use these up keeping the box to just you know put it on my counter and just kind of have as like you know cute cute whatever um it's adorable it smells good um so happy about that um I guess I'll go ahead and get these guys out of the way like I said I bought a little travel size of the marshmallow pumpkin latte I got these are oh no did I not get that one damn I thought I got the plum cider one I did not I got the sun crisp apple harvest and the perfect autumn day so I already know what the marshmallow pumpkin latte smells like it smells like heaven <laughs> and I just want to jump into a big pool of it and just float around in the marshmallows so let's see what these guys smell like, these two, because I don't know, that's why I got the little baby ones. I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on, um, like body sprays. I have a shit ton of body sprays, but I like the little travel size ones because it, what if I don't like it? Well, if I have a travel size one, I'm still going to use it. If I have the bigger size one, I'm probably not going to use it as much because I would see no point in keeping it. I would return it or exchange it because it's $14. The little baby ones were on sale, I think like three for 10 or something. I mean, it's, it was something cheap. That's why I got them. There was, Bath and Body Works have been having sales like all week. Um, so I got a butt ton of wallflowers because they were $3 the other day. And, um, and I got, um, was that this order or was that the one that's coming? I got a bunch of cheap, um, pocket bags. So maybe that's on the next one because I think these, yeah, these are all my, um, wallflowers. Okay, no. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. <laughs> Brain fart. Okay, so let's try this guy. I don't have anything on. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, what do you smell like? You smell like good. Let's give it a little more. Oh god, what does this smell like? Oh my god, I've smelled something like this before. Give me a minute. I have to analyze. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I can't place it. I'm not gonna take like 20 minutes like I did in a couple of videos back where I was trying to figure out what the hell smelled like that vineyard body lotion I got. I don't know, this has a... <sighs> it's very hard to describe. Okay, I get a little hint of cinnamon, but like I think they put cinnamon in like everything because everything I smell smells like it has cinnamon in it. <laughs> like at least all the fall stuff, like they're just like, let's just put some cinnamon in that. It's fine, it's full. This has a perfumey smell for sure. It smells a little stronger than just regular body spray, you know. I don't know, I cannot place it, but it's good. It has like a leafy, m not musky, but just more of a, not a f like fruity, flirty scent, but kind of a more masculine version of that mixed with like some cinnamon or something. I don't know. It's good though. I like it. And this one, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not getting the plum cider one because I did hear that that one was good and for some reason I thought that I didn't get this one but I did get the plum cider one. So, poo. I hate it when I do that. Okay, so let's try this guy. Sun, sun crisp apple harvest. If this smells like Beautiful Day, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I like Beautiful Day, but I feel like Bath & Body Works has just been shoving that down our throats for so long. No. Okay, wait. I 
at first I smelled like apples and oranges or something, like some kind of like citrus fruit more than the apple. I smell pineapple. I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> what? Okay, like seriously, I smell... It smells like apples and pineapples. Like more pineapple than actual apple. And again, they don't have a description on these little baby bottles, but like, that's kind of nuts, right? I totally smell pineapple. That's just weird. Totally, it's weird. It's almost like a tropical smell with like some apples thrown in it. And I'm not complaining, I like it. I, I really like it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sick of the just straight apple scents. Like, okay, I can get that like at Walmart for $2. But this is... This is nice. I like this. I, I, and on top of that, I think the bottles are adorable with all these pretty leaves and stuff on them. Can you see that? They all just, they're adorable. I like it a lot. So, okay, moving on. The, the apple one surprised me though. It's good. Okay, so I guess... Let's do my one candle I got. This should be no surprise. Um, I got another Island Margarita. Predictable. I love this candle. I can't help it. It smells so good. And the reason I'm kind of like pack ratting them is because I know at some point they're going to clearance these out and get rid of them and they're just going to be gone. And who knows when they'll bring that scent back again. I mean, it seems like they've done it. They've used it already a few times this year. Which I'm very thankful for. But that doesn't mean that they're going to continue to bring it back. You know what I mean? Like, they do repackages, but they don't do that consistently. Of the exact same scents. Exactly the same way that they are every season or every time that they bring out something new. So I don't know when they're getting rid of this. The fact that it's already like half price on the website is kind of like irking me and making me want to like pack rat it up. I think I have like four or five already that I've just like kept. <laughs> so I don't know. I might try to order order one every time I I order candles from now on if they're still on sale just because, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I should, I guess I should just break down and order like six, like at one time. I might do that. I don't know. Oh, it's so good and clean <laughs> and just wonderful and simple. Okay, so I have two of these. <laughs> I Now I'm wishing I had like a knife or something because they just go, they went ape shit with the damn... Um, tape, which I'm thankful for. I'm glad none of this broke. This is my wallflowers. They are made of glass. Unfortunately, with the single ones, they don't have any kind of carrying case like the doubles have, which I wish they did. It would be much easier to um, store them that way. I just have mine all thrown in a box. And I kind of hate that because I can't, like, I have to, like, go through them every time I want something. So it's kind of annoying. But... Let's see if I can get through this. I might try to entertain y'all um, with a story or something while I'm trying to break into my own merchandise. Um, so, what's been up with y'all? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, I think I might do another vlog on this subject, but... Uh, I had a discussion, not really a heated discussion yesterday with my brother, but um, we were talking about, like, we're planning a big um, vacation to Disney World at some point next year, and so me and him are always talking about Disney World and amusement parks because uh, the way that we grew up, we did a lot of road trips in the summer with our family, and we went to amusement parks that were out of state because 
The amusement park that we have here sucks. There's only one amusement park in the entire like region, upper half of the state where I live. There's other ones like in the south, um, south end of the state, but it's like a five or six hour drive just to get there from here. And you don't want to do that, plus it's, everything is so hot here. <laughs> it's, all the amusement parks are like in a hole, and nothing is covered like it should be, and it's just bullshit. But, anyway, the amusement park, well, we were having this big thing about amusement parks, and we were just, you know, talking about, sorry, we were talking about um, different amusement parks we've been to over the years, and there's one that we really liked when we were kids that we went to a few times that was shut down and demolished, and <laughs> we didn't know it had been so long, because we remember it, I remember it very well. We only went two or three times, maybe. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like at least twice, if not three or four times, maybe. I don't know. But this main, this amusement park, get this, was demolished in 1997. We had no, I mean, I knew that it was demolished. I knew that, but when I looked it up on Wikipedia yesterday, I was like, it's been that long. And even my brother was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, we... We would always vacation nor up north in Tennessee, and one of our favorite, I don't know, it was it was a good amusement park, I'm not going to say favorite, favorite, but it was a good amusement park for the area and for what it was. So, package one open, moving into package two, going to continue my amusement park story. Um, the amusement park was called Opryland USA. And if anybody's familiar with the Nashville area, that's where that was. So, it was, like I said, it was a good park. Um, it wasn't a huge park, but they had some good rides. They had different areas. They had, like, an Old West Town. They had a New Orleans part of the park. They had a 1950s part of the park. I think there was, like, a... Couple different, couple different par parts of the park. Again, we probably haven't been there since 1995, 96. Um, and uh, so they get this. The company that owned it was like, well, it's not making as much money as we'd like it to, and we don't think it's ever going to. So we're just gonna bulldoze it and build a mall in its place. Like, not even in its place. They built a mall in the parking lot of where this amusement park was. But because they were building this mall, they just had to get rid of the amusement park. Are you kidding me? Like, really? It made me so mad. Like, one of my favorite roller coasters ever in my entire life was in that park. It was called Chaos. And it was this kind of almost... And I've never been on this ride... But from the videos I've seen, it kind of reminded me of like Space Mountain. It was an indoor roller coaster, and it was very like almost like Logan's Run kind of like you'd get in these little like kind of like tobogganny like pod uh, kind of seats, and it was two people like one in front, one in back, and you would just go out on this long track. By the way, open empty. You would go out on this long track and you would kind of go around this main arena and there was like lights flashing and there was like smoke coming out of the middle of this thing. And it was supposed to be like a reactor or something, I think, but it was extremely 80s so there was like a ton of like neon lights and like smoke and then you'd go around it and you would see, you know, just all these like glowing lights and you would kind of uh, corkscrew down slowly and then it would go dark and then the roller coaster would just go like nuts like all over the place high speed um, there's a video on YouTube not of the actual roller coaster but of the roller coaster sister that's like in Belgium or something if you look up Opryland USA Chaos um, it'll take you to the exact 
um, copy of the roller coaster, and it is badass. <laughs> but unfortunately, they decided to sell that and a whole bunch of the other rides to an amusement park that never got back on its feet. So guess what they did with all the rides? They just let them, you know, die in a field <laughs> until they were just scrap metaled. That like hurts my heart. <laughs> um, Anyway, I think, you know what, I'm going to save that for now. I'm going to go back to the Wallflowers. Probably going to do a separate vlog for the amusement park stuff because for the people who are into the Bath and Body Works thing, I'm sorry. I got kind of heated about that, so let's get back to the Wallflowers, shall we? Okay, so I got a few that I already have. I just wanted backups of because I've only bought in like one of these in the past. So I want to have at least two. And then there's a few that I don't, I've never had before, so let's get to that. I got Heirloom Pumpkin, which I have the, oh god, can I get this with that falling? I have the little mason jar of Heirloom Pumpkin that I got at the last semi-annual sale, and I think I paid like $1.60 for this, which honestly... The fact that like the price on it originally, and I hope you can see that, is like $12.50 for this size is ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous for this size. Like, I, and from what I know, I don't think that these guys are ever really on sale. I think they're like $10 if they're on sale. I'm not paying $10 fucking dollars for this when I can literally pay $10 for this. Like, I'm not doing that. Are you kidding me? And the same thing with the mini candles. The mini candles are like $4.50. I've gotten like three or four mini candles in the past, different scents. I can't smell shit. Like, why do I need a candle that is this tall, that is like twice the size of a, uh, like, tea light? I don't want that shit. And I'm not paying almost five dollars for that shit. That's crap. Like, this should be maybe four or five dollars. This should be the price of the mini candle. Four fifty. Like, I don't get it. I mean, the only reason I got this was because the semi-annual sale. That is the only reason that I would ever buy this size of candle. Ridiculous. Side note. <laughs> so, I got an heirloom pumpkin. I got a caramel pumpkin swirl. I got... Okay, these are two that I've never gotten before and I was kind of interested by. So... I got black raspberry vanilla, which I love anything raspberry scented. I love raspberry candy, raspberry scents. Like one of my all time favorites from like when I was a small child is raspberry scented body spray. I love it. And then the other one that I've never gotten before is the black currant vanilla from the sensual line. I don't know. I'll have to smell that later. The aromatherapy line. Um, another one that I've never gotten, but the label on it is just so darn cute. The, uh, Sangria Berry Freeze. Let's see what this one says. Indulge in an icy mix of strawberries, boysenberries, and sparkling white wine. I hope that's good. I like berry scents, obviously. So, what does this one say? Black Currant Vanilla. Black Currant Absolute Inspires Heightened Sensuality. Vanilla absolute calms to instill feelings of comfort. Absolutely. Uh, another Island Margarita. I already have a handful of these, but I don't have the... I mean, obviously they're the same color, but it has a cuter like label on it. And I'm one of those people, when I unscrew one of these and put, put it into my uh, Wallflower plug-in, I leave this little thing on there. Because I like to know, and I like to see it, and the labels are cute. I see nothing wrong with that. Okay, I got another caramel pumpkin swirl. I hope y'all can see these, and that it's not like blurry as shit, because my camera sucks. I got an autumn sky. And look how cute that label is. It's like a leaf. It's adorable. Uh, open. I want to read you. Autumn sky. Experience falls bright, crisp, 
crisp sky with notes of still green leaves, cedar, and lemon wood. That sounds good. I got a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I got... Oh, this looks different than it does on the website. I got one of the pumpkin cupcakes that are kind of shaped like a pumpkin, but I thought that they were more like pumpkin, like across here. Like I thought that they would be like flat in the back and like just like like half a pumpkin cut in half almost, like the front half. I thought that they were bigger. I mean, it's still cute, but like, okay. Um, and then my last one, which was intriguing, um, is the cranberry pumpkin. So I really want to try that one. I really want to open like half of these and just give them like a snifferoo, but honestly, I don't have time. I'm going to have to hide all my stuff from my husband. So, um, I think I'm going to try to do another vlog tonight. I don't know about the amusement park stuff. Hopefully somebody out there is interested. Um, it falls in line with the whole nostalgia thing. And then also tomorrow I'm going to do another Bath and Body Works unboxing. Hopefully I get my third order. Um, thank you so much for watching me and hearing me ramble. <laughs> um, it's been a few days, a while since I've felt like actually like being on camera and vlogging since I'm like overcoming health problems right now. Um, so anyway, I just want to say thank you and I hope everybody has a good night and thank you for watching and if you like it, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever. Um, Bath and Body Works is like my favorite store and hopefully I will be doing more unboxing in the future. So y'all have a good night, okay? Bye!